Let's check out the improvements that they've made to Gina, which makes this thing so damn powerful and actually makes it worth using over bright data for specific tasks. Let me just explain what s.gina does actually first. So if I go to s.gina, this is a way to find search results, which you can then scrape with r.gina. Let's say we are looking for guest post opportunities. This is what we use it for in SEO Grove at the moment. So you can do write for us and then keyword. But the keyword in this case, I'm just going to put like a Italian suits. And then you don't have to worry about any of this stuff right now. The ones that I find particularly useful are these. These are the new things that they've added. Preferred country. So if we're building backlinks for someone in the United Kingdom, we can specify that we want results from the United Kingdom. And then pagination is super, super amazing because you can do page one, page two, etc, etc. And what that effectively means is we can cover absolutely every possible result. So let's see how this works. So we'll get the response here. This gives us all of the results in the UK for this result. You can see a lot of these are .co.uk. If we're building backlinks for a UK company, we can now specify UK. This is a brand new thing. Gina have just added it. You might think this isn't that useful, but think about it. By combining these two things, r.gina and s.gina, if I put this on Python, for example, you give this Python code to Claude and you say to it, build me a system that uses s.gina to find URLs and then r.gina to scrape relevant URLs, you can build a system that will scrape only the URLs that you need it to scrape and then get you that information.